Um, let's talk about your Rangers, Ali. Yes. Why don't we? Because um, there are reports this morning, uh, breaking news in fact, Michael Beale has agreed personal <coughs> terms with Rangers and is set to be unveiled as their new manager as early as today. Rangers are paying £1.5 million, pounds, that's a release clause, mm -hmm. in his QPR contract to bring Steven Gerrard's former assistant back to Ibrox. What do we think? Mark, right, Mark's out of 10 for how excited you are about that appointment. Um, Your hesitation suggests it might be... No, it's be not going to be a 10, it's not going to be a 1. A you know, it's somewhere in between. It's probably about a 6, <laughs> to tell you the truth. You threw that question on me. Sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know where I was going with the answer. <laughs> I'm getting, wait, 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 is a 6 OK? 6 is all right, <laughs> yeah, tepid. Yeah, I'm a little bit... Um, obviously, 100% give him my total support, because whoever takes the job... You know, you want to do well. But I'm a little bit surprised. I, I can't lie to you. I'm a little bit surprised. Um, I'm very aware that um, Michael Beale knows the club, did very well with the players beforehand. Yeah. The players obviously seem very comfortable with him, and that's probably the main reason that he's getting the job. Flip side of that coin, <clears throat> I, I've got to say, I've been surprised because you've gone for somebody with a lack of experience in terms of management. Um, <coughs> many, I don't know how many games he's managed at QPR, but maybe a dozen, 14, mm -hmm. you know, and started very well, but I think they've lost four of the last five. Yeah, no wins in that run either. Well, you know, so, you know, you're not, he's not getting it on, on current form, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. He's getting it on what he's done previously with, it, with under Steven Gerrard. It's, uh, it's definitely a surprise, because I, I genuinely thought they might have gone with somebody for more experience. Um, because he, he is well, relatively inexperienced. He is very inexperienced, but again, flip side of the coin, he knows the club. He was there for a good period with, with, with Stephen Gerrard, mm -hmm. left at the same time with Stephen, um, and the board obviously think it's a gamble worth taking. Time will tell. I know the, the, the fans, the supporters will get, understandably and correctly, get behind them right away, but it's a big job. A big job, and the biggest thing he's got to do in my opinion, is get the recruitment sorted. Yeah. Um, I don't know where it leaves Q QPR. <coughs> They're probably in a situation now where they're thinking, oh, right, put all our eggs in mixed baskets. Well, it's a strange one, isn't it, as well? Because you knock back wolves. So I, I would imagine QPR, listen, we, we've seen it a hundred times. He'll be a nose about a joint a little bit, I would have thought. Because um, they must have been looking at it and saying, well, when, he's, when he said no to wolves, he's clearly making the, the assumption, you would, you'd be obvious to assume that he's really happy at yeah. QPR and he'd be wanting to stay there and do the job. But obviously, the lure of Rangers um, has been has been great for him. And I can understand it. I can understand it. You know, a lot of people probably saying, well, why would you not go to Wolves? Why would you go to Rangers? But I can understand it. I can understa understand that decision. But at least QPR are um, a tough place as well. Charlie Austin actually tweeted this out. He said, what's going on in West London? Who's going to take the reins? To me, this wasn't a surprise, especially with recent links to other opportunities, Wolves, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I know that it wouldn't have gone down well at all. Um, and then the fans underneath um, kind of kind of backing up that sentiment, yeah. really, that they're, they're disappointed. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I suppose, Ali, really, you know all about the magic of Rangers and why you might want to go back there and yeah. try and, and get that spark back into a team that are just not looking the same. But you're, you mentioned recruitment. That's the really important word, isn't 100%. it? So how, how bad has the recruitment been or how wrong has it been and for how long? Well, it's been poor, right? It's been poor. Make no mistake about it. You, you, you've lost. You, you've, you've got to say, and to be fair to um, Giovanni Van Bronckhurst, you know, if you're looking for a po positives, won the Scottish Cup. He's apparently kick away from winning the Europa League. Mm. But this season, you've lost real quality, you know, from Rangers. And if I keep being on about it to the point I'm probably boring people. You lose Bassey, you, um, you, you lose Aribo, you lose Balligan. The Balligan decision completely baffled me. Uh, you lose Patterson. You're losing good, good players, but you're also losing a big part of your team physically. Um, and then you, the, the lads you've, you, you've brought in, we haven't seen enough of, whether it's Davies, you know, left fullback Yilmaz, is, uh, we haven't seen enough of them. And you're spending a lot of money on these guys um, and you're not getting your 
pound of flesh, I don't think. The one they have missed, believe it or not, is Tom Lawrence. And it looks as though he's going to be out for a while now, hopefully. Or, or, um, I read a report he might be out for another couple of months, although that that was shot down as well. But we've, Rangers have certainly missed him. But it's just the recruitment coming in. Cholak's done very well his goal return. But defensively, I mean, we ended up getting into a, a Champions League game, Laura, playing, a, I think, an 18-year-old kid and a midfielder in loan, um, American midfielder that, that's there in loan at centre-back. Yeah, that, that can't happen. It can't happen at any level. It certainly can't happen at Champions League level. Um, that's one of the reasons that Rangers have struggled.